guys, congratulations on winning the hackathon. That's Thank you. incredible. Thanks. Tell me a little bit about your team. So we're all Berkeley students. We're all members of blockchain at Berkeley, which is the blockchain university ecosystem. We do a bunch of things, including education, open source, with over 100,000 users online, as well as consulting with Fortune 500 companies. Tell me about your app. How does it use the Interledger protocol and or XRP? We built a Venmo clone transfer payment solution, which basically uses QR codes to uh, send money using Interledger. As college students, we always use Venmo to settle our balances and payments. And we found that Venmo has a couple issues that we as blockchain engineers uh, care about. The first thing is privacy. We've turned our data into social media, which we find a little bit concerning, given that we don't have a stake in that data. And the second thing is that that money isn't really ours because it's on like Venmo servers. So we wanted to use Interledger as a way to solve those two problems. We had two main components, of course. The front end UI, we wanted to make it really easy for users to use. And on the back end, really make it as secure as possible using uh, Interledger. The biggest, I think, usability feature that we included was that since everything's based on QR codes, any device that has a QR code scanner can use the app. So when you go and scan this QR code, there's a secret there, and the website will just parse that secret and handle it automatically. It's the same way you can transfer information using like a JSON object like normal payment companies do. We were able to do the same thing using a URL, and that makes it private and uh, ephemeral. Because we used Interledger, we were able to use any asset uh, basically known to man. So any kind of ledger that's in a bank, once the settlement engine is written for that ledger, we can use it. So going forward, the next step would be to integrate XRP, which already exists. And once more settlement engines are created, we can start integrating those into the application. This application is basically built on top of Interledger. We use the protocol called SPSP, which is on the application layer of Interledger, that allows us to exchange payment information and trigger an Interledger payment. So the beauty of that is that we don't have to care about the currency that we're using. We can rely on Interledger's built-in parameters and built-in settlement engines to use any currency that uh, is supported by Interledger. So as long as there's a settlement engine for it, we can integrate it into our application.